All right, praise God. Oh, this gentleman offered to let me use his coat. Praise God, it was cold. And uh, I got a special article from the Cleveland Plain Dealer to share with you about a person named Sam Mullet, M-U-L-L-E-T, guilty of hate crimes in Amish beard-cutting attacks. Fifteen others guilty of related crimes. Uh, thank God that, uh, you know, our federal government, a uh, federal prosecutor led this prosecution against this um, wicked person. And it is a crime to be doing what he's doing. And it is a sin and it's idolatry for you need to understand that the, the religion of the Amish for a person to be uh, you know let's see here I don't know, growing their beard the way growing their beards the way that they are and they really like uh, idolize this it's this uh, apparently this guy named Sam Mullet was trying to correct people and, and, and get them to repent I, I don't know if he, he used the word repent who knows what 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 he was doing I, I, I didn't see the evidence be nice if this uh, evidence was easier to find, but I have to read a, uh, a quote from this this mullet guy. It's important that, that people understand that these uh, religious freaks are out there. They they they. Uh, they have these cults in this country. Obviously, uh, it's all throughout the world, but you're going to see it very prevalent here in America. And we're here in America. You see it with uh, Baptist churches, Pentecostal churches, uh, Catholic churches. There's people out there who think that um, they're allowed to discipline or, or um, punish people who are going wayward in their cult. There's a lot of cults out there. I mean, I just named you know, even Jehovah's Witnesses, Mormons. Mitt Romney's a Mormon. This uh, Sam Mullet guy, he believed that he had the right to punish his followers. Folks, nobody has the right to punish you except for the government, according to the Holy Bible. And you're going to learn about that in the... Uh, letter that Paul wrote to the Romans in the Holy Bible. The government literally is the only God has ordained the government as, as the only uh, I don't know, entity or, or, or whatever to, to punish anybody. This, this um, person, Sam Mullet, literally believed he was able to punish his followers. Folks, I, I have to Really impress on on and I'm, I'm you know putting this up on YouTube too that people see that you know if you feel like you're in bondage or you're held down by your pastor, your leader, by your uh, priest, only Jesus Christ should be putting you in any kind of bondage to Him to deliver you from you know sin. I, my heart goes out to these victims. I, fine, yeah, you know what? It's it's bad. You're, go, you're good. You're going in there. You're delivering people from well drugs or you know saving children who are being led to slaughter outside of a killing center. We have no right to to jump in that woman's way when she goes into the killing center. We have no right to you know take her. Which is why we do need to have our government allow a child to be considered what a child is, is a person. And if there's, there's some filthy, disgusting people out there who actually will say that, well, it's not a person, we're dealing with a fetus here, and we're going to allow you to kill that child only if you sign a piece of paper, what they call it the heartbeat bill. That's an example of bad legislation. We need legislation that will properly punish evildoers. 
this Sam Mullet guy, well, unfortunately in this case, we've got the, the banks who are operating most of the prisons. And the Sam Mullet guy, uh, he's going to be spending some time in a federal prison. He would literally cut off the beards of these people. Oh, great. Yeah, you're doing a good work. Good deed, right? You're getting these people to stop being bad, right? No. It's, you know, the goodness of God that leads men to repentance. You can speak against it and uh, let the Holy Spirit, Holy Ghost, deliver people from their sins. Absolutely filthy and disgusting for him to be doing. Now, I also heard reports that this uh, Sam Mullet guy was uh, having sex with other followers' wives. Now, again, I didn't review any of the evidence. I'm just you know reporting to you what I'm reading from a, an article in the newspaper, but. It's it's just outrageous. He did say to the Associated Press, Sam Mullet, that uh, it's his right to punish his followers. People need to be delivered from churches. Yes. They don't realize it. But they're under a, you know, a bondage. And a lot of them can't get out of it. We've got human trafficking. People just can't get out of this sometimes. They're just, you know, in total bondage and being held down. It's so sad. Maybe you're held down to by, by a party. I caucus with the Republican Party. Filthy, disgusting evil. We reject and, and refuse the name of Jesus Christ every chance possible. And you think that Jimmy DeMora is a criminal. You know, I mean... I. I he couldn't have said it any better when he says, well, I'm not doing anything different than the way everybody else in this county is doing business. I ran for federal office, so I should know. Because I met with many of these candidates, current elected officials, judges. They all brag about how they've got people on their side, giving them dollars, donations. That's how this stuff operates. It's sad, it's disgusting, it's sick. I worked in the banking industry. I saw the wires going through. I saw the funds being distributed wherever they're going. And it's just fraud to no end. It's lies, it's cheating, it's stealing. I cannot push you enough to, to you know, boycott these evil companies, these banks, big FDIC member banks. It's the too big to fail, as I call it. So anyway, the Sam Mullet guy, I'm quite disgusted by him, and justice has not been served just because we have a prosecutor who was able to get the appropriate conviction in their eyes.